Hello YouTube, today's video it's just kind of small tutorial. I have a lot of you asking me on my stream and in general my settings, why I use them, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna try to answer as much questions as possible during that video. Let's jump straight into into the launch option. Launch option that has the pretty much the first option that you have to put entering the game. <laughs> Refresh to 40. It's obviously according to the monitor you have. My monitor is a 240 Hz. If you have a 60, a 120, 144, I mean, if you have a 60, you don't actually need refresh uh, anything under the assumptions. But if you have 75, 120, 144, you need to put refresh and the number according to the uh, refresh rate of your monitor. Console, so I have this console straight away when I start the game. Tick rate 128, um, it's mostly for to make sure that outside of matchmaking servers, if you are doing a custom game, so that kind of things, if you want to throw nades and stuff, um, you have the server automatically 128. Uh, and the last part is because I'm a streamer, a lot of third party software, it's in order for me to stream the game without any issues. So let's jump straight into the game. Let's talk about the crosshair guys. So the crosshair, I also have a lot of questions regarding the crosshair. If you want my opinion, the crosshair is really up to everyone's preferences. I've seen players playing with so many different crosshairs and being good with them that I reached the fact and the point that um, there is no like super crosshair that's gonna make you good guys, but there is only crosshairs that you are comfortable with. So my crosshair I'm comfortable with of course. And um, as the opposite of a lot of players, I'm the kind of guy, and that's a general, really general things. I don't like to change things. If I'm comfortable with something and it leads me to perform bad, well, the settings are not the reason why I'm performing bad. It can be a lot of reasons. I didn't play enough. I not warmed up. It's just not a good day. So yeah, when it comes to the crosshair, if you like my crosshair, feel free to, to copy it and, um, and yeah, have it for yourself. But uh, when you change, for example, I've played with players that were changing crosshair every single day, every single game, literally. Pretty much when you change, you're gonna have the impression of uh, being better because that's what the changement does to you. But you're gonna be better or you're gonna have that illusion of being better for just one day or a few days. And afterwards, things will go back to normal, you know? So um, I suggest, guys, you get used to... Um, to your own settings and you don't necessarily change them every time now actually i've changed resolution twice in my life on ninja in csgo i've played uh, 1024 black bars 4x3 uh for like seven seven eight years then i switched to stretched with uh 1280 uh, x960 4x3 again why did i change well i just wanted to change because i've been playing with the same setting for eight years so I felt the need to change because don't forget guys, I tell you to not change. But sometimes it just feels good and refreshing to change. When it comes to the advanced videos, I'm not gonna make the details of all of it because let's be honest guys, I have no clue myself. Uh, what I know is that it's really important to, um, it's really important to have a good visibility through Molotov, for example. Um, you cannot have a good visibility through Molotov, but you can make sure to improve it as much as possible. But to be honest, I'm not someone that is making um, such a big deal when it comes to settings. So to, to if, he, if there is a really like good player, a good guy that you like to play with, that you are fun with and that tells you, Yo, bro, maybe you should consider changing this, changing this, just open your ears and listen to him uh, because there is some people that actually do research about it. So um, also really important, the settings really are variable uh, between, for example, pro players or people that have the ambitions of being a pro players. Most likely you're gonna have like low settings, pretty much like me right now. You're gonna have low settings uh, or not full HD resolutions. In the other hand, if you are aiming at being a content creator, I suggest you actually put the highest resolution and the highest advanced videos you can have. Because what people like to see actually when you play CS is the quality of the skins and the kind of things. So as a content creator, I think playing high resolution high advanced videos uh, settings is actually the, the good way to do. So guys, important point, I'm having I'm having issues myself playing with uh, the view models that are the default ones here because I feel like everything is too big and I also get used to. If you guys downloaded my CMG and don't know how to do that, you need to execute exec in the console or press the bind I and you get my view models. So the view models, here are my view models. Why do I like them like that? Because um, 
back at the beginning of the game, someone created an auto exec for us um, that were reducing the view models, and uh, I felt comfortable with it, and I got used to it. So once again, the most important criteria uh, when it comes to your settings is that you feel comfortable with it. Uh, the only annoying point I've had with those view models that I like so much is the fact that, first of all, I'm playing left-handed. People ask a lot, why do you play left-handed? Because I'm left-handed in my life, in, my, in the real life, and uh, I don't know, it just feel more normal to me that to have my weapons on the left uh, but in general yeah i'm feeling much more comfortable having left and that uh, weapon in, in video games uh, especially in fps okay when it comes to, the, to my radar guys I, I actually think that i have this reflex if you guys watch me a lot on stream i have this reflex to press tab really often why because i actually didn't make a good job when it comes to my radar settings uh it's a bit too small i suggest like that you put it uh, bigger, maybe not bigger like the size of the screen, you know, but bigger in the radar itself. So more like from above, you know, in order for you to see the world map while you're playing. Because me, what I'm doing in order to see the world map is that if you guys once again watch my stream often, you see that I press tab really often. Why do I press tab that often? Because I can see the whole radar here, you know? So my radar is a pretty, I think it's, the, it's pretty default. Uh, but I suggest, guys, that you, you play with the scale, you know? I think the scale, it, 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 like 0, 0.5 already, it, is like much more visibility already. Uh, but you can you can push it like to, to the extreme. Like 0, 0.3, you see the world map, you know? So, yeah, once again, it's up to everyone. But don't forget something, guys. Really important. The radar is literally the most important thing you have to, to take consideration of during the run. You need to wash the radar at least 20 times. It's not possible to not wash the radar. You cannot play an FPS game and most likely CS if you don't wash the radar. How can you expect having the good reaction to what's happening around you if you're not washing the radar? And sensitivity. My sensitivity is 2.2. Once again, it's up to what you feel the best. When I started playing CS, I had like three, uh, three as sensitivity and 800 DPI. So that was really, really quick. I noticed that it was a bit too much. And I ended up with the perfect compromise for me, which is 2.2, 400 DPI. It's not a low sensitivity. It's not a high sensitivity either. I think it's a pretty good medium. So once again, guys, it's really up to, to the way you like to play and the way you feel comfortable with. We went through pretty much everything when it comes to the game. Uh, and now let's close it out with, um, with NVIDIA settings, right? So here we go, guys. First things I change as soon as I go on the PC. Digital brightness straight to 100%. Why? Because this is the way I like to play CS. I like to have a colorful game and more colorful it is and happier I am. Let's be honest. I uh, added a little bit of gamma. That's really up to your preferences. Zero and 0 0.5 and 1.05 is not such a big difference, you know? It's literally like, it's adjustment, you know? If you feel like you need a little bit of more gamma, which is like luminosity pretty much. Here is the way I can play with my resolution. So full screen, perform scaling on display, override the screen mode set by games and programs. So I don't have issues with black bars uh, popping up on the sides, on top or down the screen. And the last part of it, this is something that unfortunately I cannot show because it's on the screen, on the monitor. So the only change I do is that when it comes to the game settings, I have mod standard, not FPS or anything standard. I have black equalizer at 7, color vibrance at 17, because as, you, as I told you guys, I like colorful games. And once again, you don't have to do the same, you know? If you are comfortable with a bit lower color vibrance, just do it, because I'm aware that my color vibrance is really big, uh, considering it's 100% NVIDIA and 17 on the monitor. Picture, uh, picture mod standard, brightness uh classic everything is pretty much like gamma i have gamma free i don't know if it's the classic one but this is this is my gamma and when it comes to the rest it's uh, all um it's all classic default not changed so yeah that was a bit of uh, insight uh, the way I play, the way I like to play, the way I want to make things and the way I'm comfortable with my settings. I suggest you guys don't eat your brain uh, when it comes to that. Don't try to ask everyone, what's your CFG, what's your CFG? Why do you do that? Why, 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 why? Because the truth is that you're going to find answers by yourself. Of course, there is no issues by taking example of someone 
downloading some uh, CFG in order to, to check if you like it. If you download the CFG and you like it straight away, just keep it. That's my point. Anyway, guys, if you have more questions, I would be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, sub, and comment the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, once again, yeah, if you have any question, make sure to to come to my Twitch since I'm streaming almost every day. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.